Hello boys and girls, this week you're going to be learning about ocean and ocean animals. This book is called Hello Ocean. This is a fiction story, but it has some really neat illustrations. It's by Pam Ryan, and the pictures are by Mark Estelra, and it's by Scholastic Publishing. So I want you to really look at the illustrations because they're really neat. Mark Estelra did a great job with the illustrations. Hello Ocean, there's the title page. Look, it looks like she's reaching down to grab that starfish. Hello Ocean, my old best friend. I'm here with the five of me again. Look at that. Look at her parents coming down the hill, down the hill of sand. There she is, wanting to run right out to the ocean. I see the ocean, gray, green, blue, a chameleon always changing hues. Hue, just, hue is color, and so chameleons always change color. Amber, seaweed, speckled sand, bubbly waves that kiss the land. Here it is. Wide open eyes, wide open water before my eyes. Water. Reflect in a bowl of skies. Pictures just look real to me. Glistening tide pools and secret nooks. I love the way the ocean looks. I hear the ocean, a lion's roar, crushing rumors toward the shore. Look at those waves. Look, she's playing in them. Looks like she's having a lot of fun. Laughing and splashing. Water sh shushing and rushing in. Then whispering back to the sea again. Look, they're standing right where the water comes up and goes back out. Have you been to the ocean before? Have you done that with your feet? Froggy songs from distant boats, gentle clings from bobbing floats. There's some boats way out there. There she is, she's digging in the sand. Shriek of gulls calling down. I love the way the ocean sounds. I touch the ocean and the surf gives chase, then wraps me in a wet embrace. Look at her. She's laughing. She's having so much fun in that water. Have you been in ocean water where it does that to you? Pulling, pushing, the wrestling sea repeats the same refrain to me. There she is swimming in it. She's swimming out to that first wave. Waves that pounce in rowdy play Tickle, or tide that tickles with splashing spray. There she is laughing again. Catching the ball. S uh, squishy, sandy, soggy ground. Slippery seaweed that wraps around. So when the waves come up, seaweed kind of sometimes gets wrapped around. And if your hands are down in there, they'll wrap around your hands. If your feet are down there, they'll wrap around your feet a little bit. Sudden breeze that make me squeal. I love the way the ocean feels. Look at all the people playing having a good time at the beach. I smell the ocean, the fresh salt wind, wafting lotions from suntan skin. So there she is, she's on her towel. Sitting. Almost looks like her mom or dad took her picture. Such a neat illustrations. Aromas from some ancient tale disclose their news from eye and hail. Reeky fish from from waters deep, reeky means stinky, and in this tub is a fish. Do you see it? She's looking at it. Fragrant ore from hole dug steep. There they are digging down in the sand. Drying kelp and musty shells. I love the way the ocean smells. So she took some stuff and look. Somebody buried her in the sand, one of her grown-ups. And put that necklace around her. I taste the ocean and wonder why it tastes like the tears I sometimes cry. There she is swimming. Sandy grains in a salty drink. So the ocean has a salty taste, so that's why she's saying it sometimes tastes like when she has tears running down her face, she tastes that. Are best for fish and whales, I think. Look at that sky, see? Oh my goodness, that illustrator is just so good. 
I lick the drops still on my face. I love the way the ocean tastes. The sun dips down, it's time to go, but I'll be back to see your show. Hear the stories you give to spin, taste your flavors once again. Take deep sniffs of briny air and feel the treasures you have to share. Goodbye, ocean, my old best friend. Look at that sunset and the waves. People getting their things cleaned up, ready to go in for the evening. I asked earlier, have you been to the ocean? If you haven't, do you, have you seen seashells before? So I brought some seashells from the last time I went to the ocean. This one's broken. I found it like that broken, but it still has even some little seaweed stuck to it. Thought I'd show you a few of them. All different shapes and sizes. Here's a teeny tiny little white one. It's kind of neat to see. Some have um, places where it was connected. This one's kind of shiny on the inside. Okay, can you, here we go. We found all kinds of little pieces of things. This one's kind of neat. Little shell. Um, just kind of neat to see. I love to go seashelling. I do it um, right at dusk or early in the morning. I take my big um, shell net, actually. It's a shell net where I could kind of scoop up right where the waves were coming in. And I got a lot of different, some of them are kind of broken. See that one? That one's kind of broken, but different ones. Here's a bigger black one. And then I just stand there and when the waves come up, I scoop down and see if I get anything. And then in the mornings after um, the tide goes back out, I like to walk the ocean right where it um, connects to the water. I walk right there and I see if I can find any shells. I hope you have a good time learning about oceans and ocean animals. See you later. Bye.